welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana as is our practice vishvesham satchidanandam वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरी भर्ति संजरी हर्ति लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरी भर्ति संजरी हर्ति लीलया वी आर स्टडिंग the tatpurusha samasa we have so far studied different varieties of tatpurusha samasa tatpurusha samasa is a very important type of samasa in sanskrit there are four types of samasas we have stated avyayi bhava tatpurusha bahuvrihi and dvandva amongst them tatpurusha occupies a unique position firstly Tatpurusha Samasa is stated by numerous sutras in comparison with the other samasas. Secondly, the Tatpurusha Samasa has got so many sub varieties in comparison with other samasas. We also studied some of these sub varieties. We started with the Vibhakti Tatpurusha, then we studied the Karma Dharaya. which is a big basket within tatpurusha then we also studied the nay tatpurusha ekadesha tatpurusha and also the gati tatpurusha after that we started studying upapada tatpurusha the features of the tatpurusha samasa can be stated in the form of an equation shown on this slide where we have x and y two different independent entities in terms of meaning word form as well as accent but the speaker of sanskrit has decided to merge these two elements together and generate an output in the form of x y which is one unit in the form of meaning as well as word form as well as the accent so x y is that one unit that is generated as an output now in the tatpurusha samasa y assumes the position of the head of xy what it implies is that when xy is to be related with any other external world external word in the sentence that interrelation will happen only through y which is the head and that interrelation will never happen through x if there are examples where such an interrelation happens through x such examples are termed as asamartha samasa right now we are studying upapada samasa stated by the sutra upapada mating 2 to 19 this is the sutra upapadam ating and this sutra consists of two padas upapadam and ating the word upapadam is in 1/1 which means the word designated as upapada by 3192 tatra upapadam saptami stham and so this word upapadam appears in prathama vibhakti so it will be now termed as upasarjana because of प्रथमा निर्दिष्ट सामस उपसर्जन एंड देन इट विल हैव पूर्व निपात इट विल ऑक्युपाई द इनिशियल पोजिशन इन द कंपाउंड द सेकेंड वर्ड इन द सूत्र इज अतिंग विच इज वन स्लैश वन एंड वॉट इट मीन्स इज विच इज नॉट थिंग 
what it in, intends to mean is that which is not a tinganta. The words continued are sup and sahasupa and samartha padavidhihi, of course. So the meaning of the sutra is any subanta whose pratipadikas are designated as upapada is compounded with any other interrelated word which is not a tinganta. I repeat, any subanta whose pratipadikas are designated as upapada is compounded with any other interrelated word which is not a tinganta. Now there are some questions that arise on this particular meaning. The first question is, what is the need of the word ating in the sutra? The pinpointed question points to the fact that what is achieved by this negation? When we make not a thing under a condition for this particular sutra to apply, the only other available option through this negation is that of a subanta. So if an upapada is not to be compounded with a tinganta, what it implies is that an upapada is to be compounded with a subanta. But this is available to us anyway because of the continuation of the words sup and sahasupa. So we are forced to think that in this particular sutra, the basic condition of sup and sahasupa does not apply. Otherwise, Panini would not have stated such an obvious condition again. So, now, we are forced to think that in this sutra, the basic condition of sup and sahasupa does not apply, rather sup and saha will only apply. So, the skeleton of the derivation is the following. In the first subanta, there will be Pratipadika plus Su plus now the second element will not be a Subanta. The second element will consist of a Dhatu plus Krat. Now, after the Samasa Saudhnya takes place, the Pratipadika Saudhnya applies and Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies, will delete the Su that is available in the Purva Pada. Since the Uttarapada does not have any sub so far, there is no question of it getting deleted and therefore now we will get the output in the form of the Purvapada Pratipadika plus the Uttarapada Pratipadika which is derived from a verbal root by adding the suffix Krit to it. Now we are also studying various suffixes stated in 3.8 two with reference to this upapada. The one that we are studying right now is the suffix khach stated by the sutra priya vashe vadaha khach 3238. This sutra consists of three padas priya vashe 7 slash 1 vadaha 5 slash 1 and khach 1 slash 1. Priyavashe is 7 slash 1, which means when these are the Upapadas. Vadaha is 5 slash 1, which means immediately after the verbal root Vada to speak. And Kach is the Pratyaya. Words continued are Dhatoho 3191, which means immediately after a verbal root. The other words continued are Pratyayaha 311 and Karmani 71. The Sutra Tatropapadam Saptamistham also continues and Kridating also continues. The other Sutra that comes into this Sutra is Kartari Krit 3467 which states that the meaning of the suffix kach stated by this sutra is karta. So the meaning of the sutra now is the following. The suffix kach is added in the sense of a karta to the verbal root uvada when the upapadas are related to the action of speaking in the sense of a karma 
and Priya Vasya. Repeat, the suffix kach is added in the sense of a karta to the verbal root vada when the upapadas are related to the action in the sense of a karma and when those upapadas are Priya and Vasya. The marker kha in the pratyaya kach triggers the adding of the augment ma, mum to be specific, by a 6367 and cha triggers shortening by 6494 kachi rasvaha. So now here are the examples. If the meaning to be denoted is one who speaks pleasant, priyam vadati is the laukika vigraha. And so we have priya plus am plus vada plus kach as the alaukika vigraha. There is samasa saudhnya and so there is pratipadika saudhnya after which supodhatu pratipadika yoha applies and deletes am. So we have priya plus zero plus vada plus a. In kach kha is an it and cha is also marked as it. So what is available is a. Now when the suffix a is termed as khit, it triggers the operation of adding the augment mum to the uttarapada. And so we have priya mm, plus vada plus a. And so we get finally priyam vada as the compound output generated from priyam vadati, one who speaks pleasant. Similarly, one who speaks under control. If this meaning is to be denoted, we have the laukika vigraha vasham vadati. And so we have the alaukika vigraha vasha plus am plus vada plus khachu. And then samasa saudhnya takes place. And so the pratibhadika saudhnya takes place. So supodhatu pratibhadika yoha applies and deletes am. So we have vasha plus zero plus vada plus a. Now since the suffix khach is khit, the operation of addition of the augment ma is triggered. And so we have vasha plus ma plus vada plus a. And finally we get the compound output in the form of vasham vada, meaning one who speaks under control. Priya vashe vadaha khach. Similarly, we have a statement, Gamer Upasankhyanam, which tells us that if the meaning to be conveyed is who goes in a measured way, Mitangachati is the Laukika Vigraha, and then we add this same suffix Khachi and we get the form Mitangamaha, Mitangamaha Hasti. Similarly, if the meaning to be conveyed is who goes by sky. So the laukika vigraha is vihayasa gachati. And so because of the statement of vihayasaha vihacha, vihayas will now be substituted by viha and we will apply the suffix khachu and other operations will also take place. And so we get the form vihangamaha. There is another statement which says khacha vadit. And so this kach suffix is treated to be dit optionally. And so we get the form vihangaha. There is vihangamaha and also vihangaha. Similarly, decha vihayasaha viha adeshaha is another statement that we have. And therefore, we also get the form vihaga. So we get vihangama, vihanga and vihaga as the compound output by adding the suffix de and also the suffix kach. When we add the suffix kach and we term it as dit, there is the deletion of am in gama. Dritva samarthyat abhasyapi terlopaha. Now we go to the next sutra in line which is 3248. Antatyantadva dura para sarvananteshu daha. 
This sutra consists of two padas, antatyantadva dura para sarvanantishu, this is 7 slash 3, and daha, this is 1 slash 1. Now, antatyantadva dura para sarvanantishu, this is a reference to the upapadas, because they are all appearing in the seventh case. Daha is 1 slash 1, which is a pratyaya. Now, words continued in the sutra are dhatoho 3191, which means immediately after a verbal root, pratyaya 311, karmani 7 slash 1 from 3 to 1, gamaha 5 slash 1, which means immediately after the verbal root gama to go. Tatropapadam saptamistham 3192, krudating from 3193 and Kartari Krita, which is 3467, which says that the meaning of the suffix D is Karta. Now the overall meaning of the Sutra is the following. The suffix D is added in the sense of a Karta to verbal root Gama when the Upapadas are related to the action of speaking in the sense of a Karma and also when they are Anta etc. I repeat, the suffix de is added in the sense of a karta to verbal root gama when the upapadas are related to the action of speaking in the sense of a karma and they are anta, atyanta, etc. Now marker de triggers the deletion of am in gam and so what remains is just ga in the verbal root Gum. So now, when the meaning to be expressed is who goes to the end and the laukika vigraha is antanga chati and so we apply the process of compounding and so we add the suffix d over here and we get the form antaga as the output generated and we have antagaha. Similarly, one who goes to extremity, atyantam gachati, and we will have the derived output in the form of atyantagaha. Similarly, one who goes to the road, advanam gachati, that will be the laukika vigraha, and by the compounding process, by the addition of the suffix d, we will get the form advaga, advagaha. When the meaning to be denoted is, who goes far away, duram gachati, and we will get the compound output in the form of duragaha. Similarly, one who goes to the other shore, parangachati, and the output generated would be paragaha. And finally, one who goes to all, if this is the meaning to be conveyed, sarvangachati is the laukika vigraha, and then we get the compound generated output namely Sarva Gaha. There are some more statements. One who goes everywhere and we'll have the form Sarvatra Gachati as the Laukika Vigraha and Sarvatra Gaha as the Samasa generated output. Now we have Sarvatra Pannayor Upasankhyanam as a statement. And following this statement, we derived sarvatra ga by adding the suffix d. Similarly, when we say padbhyam nagachati, padbhyam nagachati, who does not go with feet, and we will have panna and gama and d, and the finally derived output would be panna ga, which means a snake, panna ga. Similarly, Suduror Adhikarane is another statement because of which we shall now derive the two other forms. When the meaning to be conveyed is which is easy to go. So, Khenagachati Yatra, Yatra indicates the Adhikarana, the meaning of the suffix. And so we will get the form Suga, Sugaha, and which is difficult to go. And the Khenagachati Yatra. Yatra indicates the Adhikarana and will derive the form Durga or Durgaha. Similarly, 
by applying another sutra anyatrapi drishyate you will also get grama ga as the output from gramam gachati which means who goes to a village this is how the forms will be generated by adding the suffix da now we go to the next sutra kumara shirshayor ninihi in this sutra the suffix nini is stated kumara shirshayor ninihi this sutra has got two padas kumara shirshayoho and ninihi kumara shirshayoho is 7/2 indicating that these two are the upapadas and ninihi is 1/1 of nini indicating the pratyaya nin with marker na and the pratyaya which is found in the usage is in and na triggers gha substitution as we shall see in a while words continued are dhatoh from 3191 which means immediately after a verbal root pratyaya 311 karmani 7/1 and hanaha 5/1 from 3249 and hanaha means of the verbal root hana to slay immediately after the verbal root hana tatropapadam saptami stham is also continued krudating is also continued and kartari krut is present to indicate that the meaning of the suffix in is karta so the overall meaning of the sutra is the following the suffix in is added in the sense of a karta to verbal root hana when the upapadas are related to the action of slaying in the sense of karma and are kumara and shirsha i repeat the suffix in is added in the sense of karta to verbal root hana when the upapadas are related to the action of striking in the sense of karma and are kumara and shirsha shirsha means the head the other word for this is shiras so here are the examples when the meaning to be denoted is one who slays the prince kumaram hanti now here we have the laukika vigraha kumara plus am plus han plus nini now this becomes a samasa therefore it becomes a pratipadika and then supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and deletes am so we have kumara plus zero plus han plus in now because of the marker na in the nini han becomes han so we have kumara plus zero plus han plus in and then because of the na marker again ho becomes gh ho hantor ininneshu and then kumara plus zero plus ghana plus in and then now kumara plus zero plus ghat plus in na in ghan is substituted by the anasto chinna loho and we have kumara plus zero plus ghat plus in and finally we will derive the output in the form of kumara ghatin which means one who slays the prince kumara ghatin similarly we will also derive the forms like shirsha ghatin which means one who strikes the head shirsha ghatin in the same procedure then we have the next sutra lakshane jayapatyoh tak there are three padas in the sutra lakshane jayapatyoh and tak lakshane is 7/1 meaning in the sense of a mark jayapatyoh is 7/2 meaning thereby that these are the upapadas and tak is 1/1 tak literally means a where ta and ka both are markers words continued are dhatoh from 3191 which means immediately after a verbal root 
प्रत्यय थ्री वन वन कर्मणि सेवेन स्लैश वन हन फाइव स्लैश वन एंड तत्रोपदम सप्तमी स्थम एज वेल एज कृद अतिंग एंड ऑल्सो कर्तरी कृत थ्री फोर सिक्सटी सेवेन विच सेज दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ टक इज करता सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सूत्र इज द सफिक्स टक इज एडेड इन द सेंस ऑफ अ करता टू वर्बल रूट हन वेन द उपपदर्स आर रिलेटेड टू द एक्शन ऑफ स्लेइंग इन द सेंस ऑफ अ कर्म एंड दे आर जाया एंड पति रिपीट द सफिक्स टक इज एडेड इन द सेंस ऑफ अ करता टू वर्बल रूट हन वेन द उपपदर्स आर रिलेटेड टू द एक्शन ऑफ स्लेइंग और स्ट्राइकिंग इन द सेंस ऑफ अ कर्म एंड आर जाया एंड पति सो वेन द मीनिंग टू बी कन्वेड इज वन हू बीट्स वाइफ जायाम हंती नाउ दिस इज टू बी कन्वेड एंड सो नाउ द अलौकिक विग्रह इज जाया प्लस अम प्लस हन प्लस टक एंड सो वी हैव नाउ समास संज्ञा अप्लाइंग एंड सो प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा अप्लाइंग एंड सो सुपोधातु प्रातिपदिक जो अप्लाइज एंड सो वी हैव जाया प्लस जीरो प्लस हन प्लस अ एंड देन हन हैज गॉट ह विच is substituted by gh so we have jaya plus 0 plus ghana plus a and then finally a in ghana gets deleted so we have jaya plus 0 plus gh na plus a and finally we get the form jaya gna meaning one who beats wife similarly one who beats husband is called pati gna that is the mark of the meaning of the compound to summarize the suffixes and the compounds stated in these rules are highly productive and the latter tradition took note of increasing usage in this particular regard and the tradition made statements to account for these usages which thus got the grammatical sanction the markers attached to the suffixes play different functions including the operations on the purva pada as well as on the uttara pada and the other function of these markers is accent the compounds generated thus apply to a generic meaning which is narrowed down to some specific meaning and is thus highlighted by a specific condition these are the texts referred to the traditional sources thank you for your patience